Hey guys, it's Tarp Recycle at FPV, and I was just getting ready to put some inventory away. You'll see Sam, well you can hear, she's back there somewhere counting motors. We've got a lot of motors in today. Anyways, um, and I was working on, I'm trying to bring in some new soldering equipment, right? Because we're going to start selling, some of it will be branded by, our, by, by, by my company, it'll be Cyclone FPV brand. Uh, and that's after spending a lot of time researching what companies, what manufacturers are making the products to meet uh, or exceed the expectations of what I have on different lines. like soldering equipment, uh, flux pens, um, uh, solder paste, flux paste, uh, soldering tips, soldering machines, and so forth. So in doing all that soldering mats, that's another thing that we're working on that I've been researching different companies. It looks like we found quite a few things, but in doing so today, as I was unpacking some stuff, I decided to test a couple different brands that I'm looking at. And um, I found something pretty interesting, so I thought I would share it with you, okay? So I'm just gonna get right to it. First of all, uh, I'm gonna kinda change over, and you're gonna notice very quickly that the soldering mat, uh, the appearance has changed. And here it is, let me show you what this looks like, bam. So there's my new soldering mat, right? This is gonna be available on our website. After testing all of the soldering mats, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, because I want you to see some of the things. And the table's a little dirty here, so I won't go too far. But I want you to look at a few of the things. So one of the things right now, as you can see, is this thing has a spot to hold my uh, my tools here which i'm really excited about because i usually have to reach up to the top here to grab them and now it's got these holes in here where these will hold it's kind of a neat thing um the other the other thing i really like about this soldering mat is the size it's huge it's got magnetic areas um so like right here where it says magnetic will hold the screws and right here where it doesn't say it it won't so you can tell right here as the screw standing up i don't know if you can see that but i'm kind of leaning it over now and okay so this is the magnets this is magnetic and then this area right here is magnetic as well, so you can put your stuff if you want to. Kind of cool because if you're doing uh, stuff with a lot of screws, then you can just drop the screws there and you'll be okay. But the really important thing that I wanted to show you was this solder, okay? So we've all heard stories, or a lot of you have heard stories. If you've even seen it, you've bought it. Soldering equipment that's not good. The solder's terrible or what have you, and it makes your solder job look terrible. And I was working on this one to test with it, and that's exactly what happened. So I'm just going to get to it and show you guys the difference is, even though the descriptions are the same, I'm going to show you the differences, okay? So here's two, here's three different solders, okay? And I'm going to use this flux pen. Uh, and I am switching to a 951 flux, which is a no clean flux. And you'll start seeing that. So I'm going to prep this side, and then I'm going to prep this side, okay? And here's what we're going to do. Um, to keep track of this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use this portable solder first, right? This is supposed to be a 10 grams of solder that you can take outdoors with you. And uh, it's, it's in a, sorry, it's in a uh, little holder here, right? So I thought, well, that's cool. It's a 6337 solder. And I thought, well, this will be really good. So here's what happens, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and try to solder this pad right here and just kind of watch if you can. Um, I'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can see that a little bit better, but just watch the outcome of this, okay? And I'm trying everything I can to make this work. But what I want you to notice is that, here, I'm just going to keep putting this on so you can really see what's the outcome. All right, so here's the outcome. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll, I'll put a solid picture up there also. But that is like a paste. I mean, this looks terrible. It, there's no shine to it. Uh, it has, it, 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 its melting point is extremely high. Uh, and it just, it's terrible. This is not melting like a 6337 would melt. Um, and so this is this clump that I get. And I, I, I solder a lot. So I, I know what I'm doing here. And I'm telling you that this is a terrible, terrible uh, solder uh, material. I don't know what brand, what they were thinking. Uh, now here's another one, okay? So here's another brand. And it's just, it's labeled solder wire made in China, 6337, one millimeter. Okay, now I thought this would be somewhat fair. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot. And the funny thing is, the result is exactly the same. All right, which I'm assuming then that these two brands or what have, I mean, look at this. I'm fighting with this thing, right? And I'm not going to sit here for very, this is actually a new board. And I was testing it out on this new board, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to ruin this board. But as you can see here, we have pretty much the same outcome. It's a terrible paste-looking crud, okay? Now, let me zoom out. Sorry, I know that got blurry. But now I'm gonna take another one from China, which is right here. This is a one millimeter, just like that one, 63%, 63.37, okay? And here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna to go to this side now. Well, I'll go right here, I'll go below it so that you can compare exactly the same. So here it goes, right? Let me just clean this tip off, and here it goes. Look at that. 
you can see the difference. It's night and day. Look at the difference between the solder there, okay, which is this one right here, shiny, and it went on smooth, and this one that's like a big clump of clay, right? And we'll put another one. I'll kind of move this out of the way, but let's see. All right, it melts quick. It adheres with no problem. Keeps its shine. It's not a paste. It doesn't look crappy. This thing, uh, this solder right here is excellent. Now, here's the, here's the thing. So, if I put this solder now, and you know me, I'm a big Kester fan, right? But Kester's pretty pricey. So, I've been trying to find companies that can manufacture very good quality solder for me, right? And so, here is the solder I'm using right now. This is the one I'm testing, okay? And I'm going to put them side by side. And here's the Kester. Now, keep in mind, let me, let me clean this up here. And let me put the Kester right next to it, okay? All right. And I'm going to tell you flat out, application-wise, looks-wise, uh, I cannot find a difference between the two. They both melted at the same temperature just as quickly. They both went on just as smooth. They both held their shine. They're both very solid on there. Um, and to be honest with you, at this point, uh, because of pricing and because I'm trying to provide a better solution for people, uh, you know, without breaking the bank, um, I'm going to tell you flat out that I have this feeling that the Kester line is, is not that it's going to be out for me, but it is definitely not the only brand uh, that we're going to be uh, going with at this point. So just to recap, I want you to look at this board. Now, I soldered the XT60s first, so you can see how crappy that is right here. This is the good one, and that's the crappy one. But let's look at the rest of this, okay? So you can see right there, bad, and then the next one's good, bad, and good. And now if we flip it over, I want you to look. I'm sorry, I'm looking here so I can also make sure I'm showing you the right thing. So right here is the new brand that I just tested, and this is the Kester brand that I always use, okay? They look identical to me, and after testing them for a little bit, it seems to be almost perfectly identical, okay? And the same goes for the Flux Pens. Brought in some new Flux Pens to test out, the one I just used. Excellent. So. The difference is a huge difference in price. And so I'm gonna start selling these, um, these solder mats, the, I mean, all the tools basically. Instead of sending you all the Amazon now to go buy this stuff and I can't control the quality, I'm gonna start selling them and it'd be just the same price if not cheaper, but at least I know it's been tested and the quality is good. All right, it'd be, it's gonna be what I use from now on. Nothing that I sell on the site will be stuff I don't use. Soldering machine's gonna change over, uh, solder's changing over, uh, flux is changing over. I mean, everything is, okay? The solder mat, the whole thing. Figure, if, you know, I can't ask you guys to buy and I can't expect you to buy it if I'm not the one using it as well. So we're going to do it together, all right? Anyways, I just wanted to show that to you guys so that if you run into these deals where, you know, you go to some of these websites and they got this solder for like dirt cheap, look, plan on it. It may have the same description as what you're used to, but it's not, hey Sam, you going to say hi to everybody? <laughs> it's not the quality is where it's at and so that's what I'm doing I'm testing it for you guys and I'm gonna start selling it on the site so watch for some links uh, they won't be ready by the time this video goes because I'm putting this video out right now but watch for some links and um, and I'll post it on the website soon okay if you have any questions make sure to email me at targetcyclonefpv.com please subscribe to our YouTube channel which is right there and also follow us on Facebook uh, that helps support us alright other than that God bless spend time with your family guys stay flying we'll see you soon bye